Alrighty, I have such a packed video today, guys. Like, this one is so packed with information, and that's not even all the information I have. Um, I strongly suggest, I'm gonna do a little bit of shameless self-promo, but honestly, you know what? With, with the recession and inflation and all that, I think this is well-deserved with how much hard work I am putting into this channel now. Um, I do recommend subscribing to me on Patreon. Um, for $5 a month, uh, you're going to get access to a monthly newsletter where I spill like everything I possibly know. Um, and then for even a dollar a month, you get access to just up-to-date information as it's happening, like as I see it or as it's um, happening. I do want to stress everything in this video is the opinions of me and me only and is speculation and not confirmed by the park. So please take everything in this video with a grain of salt. As you can see, one, uh, Behemoth has some work going on right down at the bottom of the chain. Um, this suggests that there is planned maintenance going on with Behemoth's chain, whether it's greasing it, getting it ready for the season, or a complete replacement, or just replacement of some parts, um, there is some work going on. We have seen this exact setup when they replace the whole chain. Now, what's interesting is they usually replace a BNM chain um, every like one time every 10 years and behemoth has already had this done so it isn't in its 10 year cycle so i don't think this is a complete chain replacement but we'll keep our eye on it two behemoth trains are on the track taxi jams trains are stored in kingswood those shipping containers are of no importance they are just vampire disco um i'm literally just going to talk about everything that we possibly see in the video but there's a lot like honestly if you want to know what's going on at wonderland right now this video is the video to watch um, outside of that, nothing too much going on in Kingswood. I am looking, as you see, what I'm doing, again, a lot of people who watch my channel were actually private messaging me, being like, can you go back to your old flying area, because it has a better view of the park, and show us all the areas so we can get a view. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. Um, and I didn't realize how bad of a view my drone has on that other side. It's good for construction, but not good for the rest of the park. So I will fly from here at least once a week to get you guys a bird's eye view of everything going on in the park. Leviathan's trains are not on the track yet or in the storage shed, and there is only signs of one train below it, which is a really healthy sign. It means two trains are being worked on in the maintenance facility over there behind human resources. Here's a view of Snoopy's Racing Railway construction site from a different angle. Not much you can see from over here, uh, but again, the, zoom, the zoom's pretty impressive. You have to understand how far away we are, and you can still see it pretty cool. Um, but I thought I'd show you guys a different angle. Um, what was in that storage bin in the kids area? Well, funny enough, uh, what was in that storage bin, the dumpster, is actually just the old Christmas trees, uh, from Snoopy's Christmas Story. Um, yeah, so, uh, over here is that wonderful Wonderland construction shed. Wherever you see that, you know an attraction's going, so watch for that shed. Uh, Tundra Twister is got its formations in the ground. If you look really closely, you can see them. Uh, service roads are being built and maintained around Vortex. Again, there is work about to happen to Vortex, whether it's happening this offseason or next. There are clear signs of some new service roads as the park looks to upgrade to keep Vortex much longer. It is in the park's plans to paint Vortex. Um, along with, I can't spill any tea, there are some attractions getting some really awesome paint jobs right now. So pay attention to the video because you will see them and our Patreons do know which rides those are. Um, I do have one of the rides at the end of the video that I will showcase that I'm not going to just hold for Patreons to know about. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, it does look like there is potentially work going to continue on Vortex. So hopefully, fingers crossed that that does end up happening because that is some really good news for a beloved attraction. Ooh, the news over here that Patreons have access to as of today is, um, yeah. Just pay attention. Uh, I'll make a video later on about this. I don't want to spill too much tea yet, but obviously, if you've watched my other videos, you know that infrastructure upgrades are going on around the park. Um, and that's all I'm going to say on what's in front of you on the screen right 
Now, I did provide further thoughts on Patreon in our newsletter. So again, head on over to Patreon, $5 a month for the newsletter or a dollar a month for uh, all the information as it's happening. So usually when I go fly my drone or not, if I notice anything that is super important, I'll post it right away. Now, let's get to one of the attractions that had a complete dismantle and is receiving um, some love, planned love. So this isn't going anywhere, but Swings of the Century is completely removed like Clockworks um, and it is receiving some beloved love that it needs um so that's awesome it looks like a lot of winterfest attractions are actually getting that love this season so it's uh pretty awesome to see anyways that's all the information i have right now can't talk about a certain something else or certain other things because i had to give it to the patreons first but we'll touch on that eventually thanks so much for watching guys hopefully you had an amazing long weekend